review of trigonometry derivative. Derivative of sine is cosine, derivative of cos is negative sine, derivative of, derivative of tangent is sec square x, derivative of cot is negative cosecant square x, negative of cosecant x is negative cosecant x, cot x, and derivative of sec x is sec x tangent x. We want you to take note on those that have a negative. The moment when you see a C, you see a negative. C, negative, C, negative. And when you compare this and that, uh, derivative of sec is sec x tangent x. So you have a c, you put a negative, you put in, put a c here, and then put a c here, you'll be uh, a cosecant, and then you'll be caught. And uh, for tangent, the real tangent is sec. Then you have a c, and then you put negative c for cosecant square x. Okay, this is a, a rough way to remember them. Except this one, you no. Know, derivative of sine is cos. Derivative of cos is not sine. You need to put a negative. Again, follow the convention. And the word CC is a negative. But for this case, no, no, you just have to memorize the first two here. And then the rest, you, you just uh, like uh, tangent x is sec square x. And then when you have a C, you just put a C, negative, put a C. Uh, sec x is sec x tangent x. When you have a C, you put a negative C change to C, change this to C, okay? And that's way to uh, quickly remember them. If you still forget the derivative, that's a way that we're going to show uh, soon. Uh, this is for AP calculus, okay? Here, as mentioned, the real sine x is cos x, the real cos x is negative sine x. Remember, C means there's a negative. Now, derivative of, we need to show derivative of uh, tangent x is sec square x. What is tangent x, tangent x is sine equal cos x? We need to find the derivative of a quotient of two functions. You apply the quotient rule. Square downstairs, take the derivative of upstairs, become cos x times downstairs, minus the upstairs times the derivative of cos x is negative sine x. So square the downstairs, take the derivative of upstairs times the uh, time downstairs function, minus the upstairs function times the derivative of the downstairs function. That's what you get. Notice that cos square x plus sine square x is 1. 1 over cosine square x is sec square x, okay? So either you memorize this or you can quickly just derive this out very fast, okay? For me, it's better to derive just in case you are not sure, okay? Now, uh, this one, uh, derivative of cot x, remember? Tangent gave you sec square x. When you have a c, you put a negative, and then change, uh, add a c here with cosine square x. If you still forget how to get this, no worry. Just go with the derivation. Cot is cos x divided by sine x. Now you have a derivative for quotient of two function. Do the same as in step number three. Uh, square the downstairs, applying the quotient rule. Square the down, square the downstairs. Derivative of the upstairs will be negative sine x times the second uh, downstairs function minus the upstairs function times the derivative of the downstairs function. Derivative of sine is cos. Notice that minus 1, you can take it out, and then you have sine square x plus cosine square x, which is 1. This is what? 1 over sine square x is negative cosecant x, negative here, and then the 1 over sine square x is that. 6 1 is 1 over uh, derivative of cosecant x. Okay, remember, sec, derivative of sec x is sec x tangent x. When we have c, put a negative, sec x become cosecant x. Tangent x we can call x, okay? That's a way to remember. But if you forget, don't worry, just do this. Cosecant x is sine x to the power of minus 1. Now applying the chain rule, negative comes down, and then sine x to the power of negative 1, minus 1 is negative 2. Time the uh, inner function, derivative of sine x is cos x. And then write this as 1 over sine x, and then there's another 1 over sine x, put it underneath the cos x. This piece you get cot x, and then this piece you get uh, cosecant x. You will be negative cosecant x cot x. Last one, the derivative of sec x is equal to sec x tangent. Either you memorize this, or you just derive it. Sec x is uh, cos x to the power negative 1. The derivative of that is applying the chain rule. Minus 1 comes down. And then cos x to the power negative 1 minus 1 is minus 2. Time the derivative of the inner function. The derivative of cos x is negative sine x. And then write these as 1 over cos x, one piece, and then there's another 1 over cos x. Put it underneath the sine x, negative, 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 positive. This piece you get tangent x, this piece you get sine x, okay?
done easy right thank you for watching hope video is informative and helpful before you go make sure to subscribe share comment and don't forget to hit or smash the like button we'll catch you again next time jumpa lagi bye bye